Gifford Pinchot National Forest is a national forest located in southern Washington, USA, managed by the United States Forest Service. With an area of 1.32 million acres 5, square kilometers, it extends 116 kilometers along the western slopes of Cascade Range from Mount Rainier National Park to the Columbia River. The forest straddles the crest of the South Cascades of Washington State, spread out over broad, old-growth forests, high mountain meadows, several glaciers, and numerous volcanic peaks. The forest's highest point is at 12,276 feet, at the top of Mount Adams, the second tallest volcano in the state after Rainier. It includes the 110,000-acre Mount St. Helens National Volcanic Monument, established by Congress in 1982. History Gifford Pinchot National Forest is one of the older national forests in the United States. Included as part of the Mount Rainier Forest Reserve in 1897, the area was set aside as the Columbia National Forest in 1908. In 1855, the U.S. government commissioned Washington Territory to negotiate land cession treaties with tribes around the forest. The Yakima tribe signed a treaty agreement that stipulated their moving to a reservation while maintaining off-reservation resource rights. However, the original treaty was then broken in 1916 when the Washington State Supreme Court ruled that Yakima's hunting off the reservation had to subscribe to state fish and game laws. Many tribes in the area have continued to use the area's resources while encountering non native hunters, fishers, and recreation users. It was later renamed the Gifford Pinchot National Forest on June 15, 1949, in honor of Gifford Pinchot, one of the leading figures in the creation of the National Forest System of the United States. In 1985, the non profit Gifford Pinchot Task Force formed to protect the area. Geography Gifford Pinchot National Forest is located in a mountainous region approximately between Mount St. Helens to the west, Mount Adams to the east, Mount Rainier National Park to the north, and the Columbia River to the south. This region of southwest Washington is noted for its complex topography and volcanic geology. About 65% of the forest acreage is located in Skamania County. In descending order of land area the others are Lewis, Yakima, Cowlitz, and Klickitat counties. <laughs> Major rivers The Pacific Northwest brings abundant rainfall to the Gifford Pinchot National Forest, feeding an extensive network of rivers. The forest has only one river currently designated as wild and scenic, the White Salmon River, fed from glaciers high on Mount Adams. The Gifford Pinchot National Forest recommends four rivers to be added to the wild and scenic system. They are the Lewis River, the Cispus River, the Clear Fork and the Muddy Fork of the Cowlitz River. There are an additional 13 rivers in the forest being studied for consideration into the National Wild and Scenic River System. The following listed are the major streams and rivers of the Gifford Pinchot National Forest. Many of these provide excellent fishing. Cispus River, Cowlitz River, White Salmon River, Little White Salmon River, Wind River, Lewis River, Muddy River, East Canyon Creek. Skate Creek Iron Creek Trout Lake Creek Cultus Creek Quartz Creek Butter Creek Clear Creek Suin Creek Canyon Creek Johnson Creek Major lakes The Gifford Pinchot National Forest includes many popular and secluded backcountry lakes. Most of the lakes offers excellent fishing. Goose Lake is known for the best fishing in the state of Washington. The following table lists the major lakes of the Gifford Pinchot National Forest. Topic: <laughs> Congressional action Congressional action since 1964 has established one national monument and seven wilderness areas in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> National Monuments. In August 26, 1982, Congressional Action established the Mount St. Helens National Volcanic Monument after the cataclysmic eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980. Topic: <laughs> Wilderness Areas. Congressional action since 1964 has established the following wilderness areas Glacier View Wilderness 3073 acres 12.4 square kilometers Goat Rocks 108096 acres 437.4 square kilometers part of which lies in neighboring Wenatchee NF Indian Heaven 20782 acres 84.1 square kilometers Mount Adams 47078 acres 190.5 square kilometers Detouche 15725 acres 63.6 square kilometers Trapper Creek 5969 acres 24.2 square kilometers William O Douglas 169061 acres 684.2 square kilometers most of which lies in neighboring Wenatchee NF the Shark Rock Wilderness was proposed in the mid-1970s by E.M. Sterling for the 75,000-acre Dark Divide roadless area in his book, The South Cascades. It is the largest unprotected roadless area allowing motorized access in the Washington Cascades, featuring sharp peaks and deep canyons, old-growth forests, and delicate subalpine meadows. Points of interest. The forest also offers the following special areas and points of interest Dark Divide Roadless Area Silver Star Scenic Area Lava Tubes, Caves, and Casts notably the Ice Caves Ape Caves Midway High Lakes Area Big Lava Bed Packwood Lake Berry Fields, notably the world-renowned Sawtooth Berry Fields Lone Butte Wildlife Emphasis Area Topic. Forest Service Management The Forest Supervisor's Office is located in Vancouver, Washington. There are local ranger district offices in Randall, Amboy, and Trout Lake. The forest is named after the first chief of the United States Forest Service, Gifford Pinchot. Washington towns near entrances of the forest include Cougar, Randall, Packwood, Trout Lake and Carson. Ecology A 1993 Forest Service study estimated that the extent of old growth in the forest was 198,000 acres 80,000 hectares, some of which is contained within its wilderness areas. The Gifford Pinchot National Forest is the native habitat for several threatened species which include the spotted owl threatened 2012 as well as multiple species of northwest fish like the bull trout threatened 1998, chinook salmon threatened 2011, coho salmon threatened 2011 and steelhead threatened 2011. People for over 6000 years have made an impact in the ecology of the Gifford Pinchot National Forest. Native Americans hunted in high meadows below receding glaciers. The natives then began to manage the forest to meet their own needs. One method they used was to burn specific areas to help in the huckleberry production. About 338 spots more than 6,000 culturally modified trees were identified, of which 3,000 are protected now. Archaeological investigations on the forest continually find new information to this day about the past lifestyles of the Native Americans. The forest is home to the Big Tree at the southern flank of Mount Adams, one of the world's largest ponderosa trees. Topic: See also Wind River Arboretum